Greetings. Today I want to speak to you on the subject of being double-minded and how that would block your prosperity, that would block your abundance. That is one of the biggest stumbling blocks that will keep you from living your life how you really and truly want it to be, which would be a life of abundance and prosperity. Okay, because at the end of the day, the medium of exchange on this planet is money and money gives you option. And it is our birthright to be rich. It's our birthright to have abundance. It's our birthright to create images in our mind and experience those images as reality. Okay, I hope you got that little piece right there. Now, I want to read... For you uh, a scripture from the bible which speak about the double-minded man and i really want you to catch the message of prosperity written right here when you really understand that the bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically when you understand that the bible is a book of mind science you'll also that it is a code to prosperity or poverty okay <laughs> let me run that again you realize that the Bible is a code. Yeah, it's a code. When you understand it, psychologically, you realize it is a code of prosperity or poverty. And results don't tell lies. So you have to be the judge for yourself. Now, if I was to judge myself, I would tell you the life I'm living compared to the life that when I was in secular Christianity. And I was interpreting, interpreting the Bible as secular history and looking outwardly. I can attest to you from my own experience. And I wouldn't exchange what I have now for, for what I had before. It never happened. Okay. So, when it comes to the, the, the subject of being double-minded, I want to read for you what James chapter 1 says. Okay. And I'm going to read, I think, up around verses 8 or something like that. Okay, so I might read from anything from, say, verses 2, you know. And I'm reading from my Bible, you know. I like to read from my Bible. This is my Bible right here. Okay, the 66 books of magic, the overcomers Bible. And I always encourage people to get it. And it's dedicated to Abdullah and Neville Gadel. Okay, and Abdullah is a black mystic from Ethiopia who taught a, a, a white man by the name of Neville Gadel that imagination creates reality and taught him the mystery of the Bible. And to be honest with you, the biggest business in my country came from the Gadad family. Okay, it's called Correz. Okay, you can check out Correz and see Miss Sandy Granny. Did you see I'm not lying? Okay, <laughs> you can check the whole history of yourself. As a matter of fact, on my other channel, I did a vlog about it too. Okay, now I'm gonna read for you here from James. Okay, and I'm reading from page three, uh, three nine four. Okay, page. 394. Okay. And let me just add one more thing for those of you who might be new to this uh, Bible of Minds and to this channel. My Bible starts with the New Testament, not the Old Testament. Okay. But um, when you buy it on Amazon, you might not realize it unless you buy the Kindle form. Okay. If, the, if it's the Kindle form, you realize it starts with the New Testament and ends with the Old. Okay. And in the New Testament, I start with John. Okay, I start with John. And some people catch the reason why I actually started with John. Okay, and I end uh, the, the old with the, the book of Chronicles. Okay, some people catch too why I end it with Chronicles also. Okay, but that's besides what I really want to talk to you about. Let me make this one quick. Let me read for you from James uh, chapter 1 and I'm reading from verses 2 right down to verses 8 he says my brethren count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations which is basically things that would block you from achieving your goals okay because sin is missing the mark okay you've been tempted with all of these things from keeping from missing the mark the thing you want to manifest the thing you want to acquire in life knowing this that the trying of your faith walketh patience Okay, so your faith must be tested, okay? And faith is being loyal to the unseen. 
okay because everything comes from the unseen to the seen everything have to first be envisioned okay uh, you must visualize first before there could be manifestation okay get that but let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and enter wanting nothing <laughs> let me run this again but let patience have her perfect work you have to wait it's a love gestation Habakkuk chapter 2 tells you that. Go in Habakkuk chapter 2 and you'll see what I'm talking about. From verses 1 to about 4. Get that with this. It will help you. Trust me. Okay? So you won't get impatient and, and anxious and getting overthinking. But let patience have a perfect walk. That ye may be perfect and entire. Wanting nothing. Because your wish would be fulfilled. Your desire would be finished. You will come into rest. You will come into Sabbath. It's just like a man and a woman have it. They, they are in the act of creating. And there comes a time when the creative process is over. And you go into rest. You go into Sabbath. You go into death, you know. You yeah, wait. You all come again. Okay. Verses 5. He say, if any of you lack wisdom. See, this thing is about wisdom. That, that, that's why the Bible can't be literal. It's like a history. Wisdom, if a thinkers, if any of you, so he said, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. And you know, God in man is man's imagination, you have to go within himself. That's what he said, you know, that give it to all men liberally. All of we have the same power, and the same power is within all of us, and it's mind power, mind stuff. So, God power is creative power, and the kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17 21. And here, joke. Matthew 6 32 says, When you really find the kingdom, you're going to know you find the kingdom because all these things will be added unto you. You're telling me that when you read that, you realize that it's telling you that you will discover, when you discover the kingdom, that you will discover the secret of creation. And you'll be able to create your reality consciously. That's what I mean. When you say all these things will be added unto you. So he say, let him ask of God that give it to all men. Liberally, all men get the same amount. And all of you get the same 24 hours. If you believe in time. Okay? But me no time ain't real. And upbraid it not. And it shall be given him. So whatever you ask, it will be given you. But how do you ask? By desire. And prayer. True prayer is desire and meditation. So that's how you're going. And get what is yours. Envision it. You're the image maker. You're the pattern. Verse 6. But let him ask in faith. You must believe in the unseen. Nothing wavering. You're not supposed to be wavering back and forth. For he that wavered is like a wave of the sea. Driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. I am. Of yourself, your higher self. You ain't gonna receive nothing from your higher self if you act like that, think like that. Verse is it, last verse. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Now, some my ways. All his ways. So, this whole scripture here is showing you why many people remain in lack instead of living in abundance because why they're double minded. You can't be double-minded by this, with this. You can't love a God outside yourself, a sky God, or some sort of believer, some Jesus of 2,000 years ago, and still want to use this power to achieve your every de de desire and having it work for you the way how you want it to work. You have to sincerely believe in the God that is within you. You have to sincerely believe in yourself. You have to love yourself and you have to embrace yourself. Because now that you really love yourself and embrace yourself, you'll hold yourself responsible for every thought. Because remember, a word is a thought expressed and an action is a thought expressed. So there's something that's more powerful than words and something that's more powerful than action. It's called thought. That's where the power lies. So my brother and my sister, you can't be double-minded about, about this. You got to make up your mind. If you want to prosper, if you want to grow, if you want to expand, if, if, if you want to see more things happen in your life, you have to trust no one else but your imagination. Do not even trust me. Trust your imagination because if you don't prove what I'm telling you, you have the right to say why I'm saying the truth, you know. You, do you realize all them church people that say what well, the pastor and the so-called prophets saying is the truth and they never experience it? 
Ask them if any, if, if any tongues of fire ever do, they over the head. The lie. They can't tell you. They ever had an experience. Ask them if they ever heard any mighty rushing wind. When they say they're speaking in tongues of fire with the Holy Ghost. They can't tell you that. You know why I can tell you all of that? Because I experienced all of that within myself. When I wake within myself. Like a fiery being. I've been holding an ugly wind. And we're beyond my skull. Become invisible. And teaching you about the invisible world. And telling you cannot be double-minded when you're dealing with the invisible world. So my brother and my sister, I don't want to make this here too long. Because I don't, you know, been all over the place already with it. That's what I wanted to get. Stop being double-minded. Believe this thing 100%. This is the greatest investment they'll ever make in your life. By putting what I'm saying to you to work in your life. Because it is sure 100% guarantee. So, with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, and what I'm saying makes sense to you, and you're ready to put it to test, you're ready to challenge it, like Second Corinthians 3 and 5 say, examine yourself, man. Test yourself. You say, don't you know yourself? Man, time for you wake up. If you wake up now, I know when you're going to wake up. You say, don't you know yourself? You ain't know your own creative self. You created inside of you. You ain't know that Jesus Christ is in you. If he's in you, in what form? If it's spirit, what spirit? A spirit of luck or a spirit of abundance? A spirit of sadness or a spirit of gladness? Accept it yourself, man. Your I am self. So, let me go again and say, if this is the first time you're listening to me and what I'm saying really makes sense to you and it really resonates with what you're saying, if you ain't subscribed, you're ready to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work because you've been really blessed by this work and you put it to work and you prove it and you want to support this work, we have a PayPal. The link is down below. Feel free to do so once you feel strongly led to do so. And also, if you would like to be a part of my Patreon community, I have a lot of good stuff that is there for you also. And it doesn't matter how much you're contributing, it's there for you. Except that I have a course that is called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And that's for persons who are doing it at least 20 or more dollars. It's available to you, teaching how you should align, get in alignment with the sun, the light that is within you, and learn to create your reality consciously. For the sun, Parallel the human imagination and the human imagination parallel the sun. And you're told that the Lord thy God is a son. And a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. The sun has never withhold any good thing from all of humanity. For the sun has what brought all of humanity and give all of humanity its energy. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I want this to motivate you and to strengthen you and push you to challenge yourself. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.